Alrighty, I think we should just get the locomotive coupled to the passenger train now. I... So even though the... Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can fit in here. Okay, even though the 3D printed couplers on these cars uh, were compatible with that coupler, I did kind of have to push them together, so it might not be totally automatic. But anyway, we're gonna back up now and we'll just see how it goes. Right here. Oh, she has stopped. Okay. Oh, no. She's good. Okay. And yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to push it together. Here, yeah. Okay, let's try that again. Get them kind of... There you go. Alright, and let's send her away. have a problem. The train does not want to stay together. That's unfortunate. Let's see if it'll stay together this time. Yeah, I really need to update the design on these couplers because they're not very reliable. I tried to make them reliable, but I mean, ain't that something we all do? Trying to make something reliable and it's just not reliable so all right let's try this again see if it'll stay together for one whole lap And then something I also noticed with this locomotive is that it tended to slow down on the curves. Um, even though it is rated for curves tighter than this, it did just kind of have a little bit of a slowdown. I don't know if that's because of the, the cleanliness of the track, I guess I could say. Maybe the track is just a little bit dirty and it slows down on those parts or it could be because it's super elevated but that should make it so that the train turns easier right yeah I don't know but it doesn't seem to be doing that now with a train just by itself it would slow down on the curves oh, like that yeah oh no it happened again This is going to be a pain in the butt.
You know what would make this video 10 times better? You can probably guess already, but for those of you who don't know, are going to get a bit of a surprise. You know what? It might not work on these narrower curves. It might not work on these sharper curves. So I'm going to see if I can move it out to the outside lines and see how that works. Or, you know what, I think I'll just see if I can try it with one car and see if that works. Hi. So, I was actually in the middle of editing this video, and I realized that I never actually finished um, filming. So, we're actually gonna um, try doing the train drifting with uh, one single car right now. Alright, so I already have the locomotive and the observation car set up on the uh, layout. As you can see, it's been updated just a little bit. Um, I decided to make it go under the bed, and then I have a uh, third controller um, to go along with the Tech 2s. And so we're going to uh, try drifting the observation car right now. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, and it stopped. Hold on. There we go. Uh, okay, that's interesting. It derailed and went back on the normal track. Uh. Okay, the reason it keeps stopping is because I have it plugged into this uh, three-way plug sort of thing. And it's not staying in very well, especially with me back here kind of um, bumping into it. Um, I will have to figure out a, a different way for me to get to the controller somehow. Um, but yeah, I'll have to figure that out later. Do you think we should do one more test with it and see how fast it goes at top speed? I think we should. I think we totally should. I'm so sorry, guys. I keep... I keep recording this in the wrong format, um, but now I have it in the right format, and we're, we're seeing that it goes pretty fast, which is good, because this is a high-speed locomotive. Oh, that's, that's really fast. Well, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.